Hello and welcome to another video by Purple AD. In this video, we will talk about Active Directory Service Interfaces or ADSI. So what is ADSI? Active Directory Service Interfaces or ADSI is a set of component object model or COM interfaces for managing Active Directory. Using ADSI, you can easily create, modify or read objects from Active Directory. The beautiful thing about ADSI is that it can be used from any scripting language or programming language that you are comfortable with. It is also available as part of .NET Framework and in .NET Framework if you want to use ADSI, you can use these two classes which are system.directoryservices.directoryentry for ADSI and system.directoryservices.directoryserger for ADSI searcher. Now using ADSI you can create, delete or modify objects and using ADSI searcher you can retrieve information from Active Directory or search any objects within the Active Directory. Now since it's part of .NET framework it can easily be accessed via PowerShell by creating an object for any of the above classes. Now there are three ways you can create an object for any of the above classes. First is using the new object commandlet of PowerShell and you'll have to specify the type name flag to which you'll pass the class you want to create an object for as type. So in this case, it is system.directoryservices.directoryentry. Another way to create an ADSI object is to use typecasting. So basically you create a new object and then typecast it with this class, just system.directoryservices.directoryentry. And this is the argument you pass to this object, which is the LDAP path to the domain you want to connect to. In our case, it is tccorp.local. The third way you can create an ADSI object is by using the ADSI type accelerator. Now in PowerShell type accelerators are nothing but aliases for the .NET classes. In this case ADSI is simply an alias for system.directoryservices.directoryentry class. Now let's see the demonstration in the lab. So this is the machine for ycscorp.local domain controller. And now let's create an ADSI object using the first method, which was using the new object commandlet. So I'll type dollar domain equal to new object. And I'll give it the type name. And it will be system dot directory services dot directory entry. And in this case, I don't need to give it any argument. By default, it will take the LDAP path to the current domain as an argument. And now if I just print this object, you'll see that it is connected to the YCC Corp local domain. And if you want to see the properties of this domain, there are two ways. First is by using get members commandlet. So first I'll write domain and then I'll pipe the output to get member commandlet. And you can see that it has listed down a list of all properties that are available for this particular object. And now if you want to see the value of any of these properties, all you have to do is write domain dot property name. And in this case, let's pass a distinguished name and it will print the value of the property. Now, in case you want to see the values for all properties, you can easily do that by domain dot properties and it will list down the values of all the properties along with their names as you can see here. Now let's try the other two methods of creating an ADSI object. So let's create a variable domain2 and this time we'll use typecasting to create the object and here I'll mention the directory entry class and then the LDAP path to the domain. And now if I list the properties of this object using get member so you'll see that this is a similar list that we saw for the first object and if you want to see the values of all these properties all you have to do is write domain to dot properties and it will list property name along with the values Great. Now let's try the third way of creating an ADSI object that is using the type accelerator. So I'll just modify this command and I'll remove this class 
and instead of this I'll put ADSI and I'll change the variable name to domain3 and then it should connect to this domain name and if we list the properties of this object you'll see that again this is the same list of properties that was listed earlier and to print the value of these properties you can just write object.properties so in our case that would be domain3 dot properties and it will list the property name along with all the values so now that we know how to create an ADSI object let's see what all can we do with it now this is only an example that I'm giving here of the tasks that you can perform using ADSI you can perform many more tasks using ADSI and I will cover some of these in the upcoming videos so now let's see how we can create an OU and a user using ADSI object so let's use the domain3 object for this example and uh, all I need to do to create an OU is create another variable let's say domain OU and then domain3 dot create function and then mention the object that I want to create in this case it is organization unit and the name for this OU which I'll write YCSC test and then let's press enter now in order to create this OU in the domain ycccorp.local all we need to do is call set info method of domain OU object so I'll write domain OU dot set info and then press enter and it has given us an error so looks like I made an error in this command I'll need to pass it OU equal and then the OU name and now let's call the set info method of domain OU object and this time it has executed successfully and now if you go to the active directory users and computers management interface you'll be able to see that new OU which is by CSC test in a similar way you can create a new user all you have to do is first call create method of the ADSI object with appropriate parameters and then call set info method on that particular object so let's try this out and this time let's give this the name of domain user and I want to create a new user so I will just mention user and I want to create a username with CN YCSC test user and now let's call the set info method of this object and you can see that user has been created successfully and we can verify it using active directory users and computers management interface which is this and if I come to the domain level and just do a refresh you'll see that we now have a YCSC test user user great now there is one more trick that I would like to show you let me clear the screen first now let's say if you want to fetch information on any user all you have to do is create a ADSI object and pass on the LDAP path to that particular object so for example if I go to users and computers interface and let's say I want information on this particular user which is admin ycc01 to fetch that information I'll first create the ADSI object let's call it domain user and I'll put ADSI as type accelerator here and let's pass the LDAP path and now let's see the properties for this particular object so as you can see that these are the properties that pertain to this particular object and let's say now if you want to find out the SAM account name for this particular user all we can do is pass SAM account name parameter and let's print it and the SAM account name for this user is admin.ycsc01 so this was a very brief introduction of ADSI library and how you can access it using PowerShell till the time I come out with my next video I would encourage you to go ahead and experiment with ADSI in your own lab do keep in mind that do not do this on production systems. Now let's look at some pros and cons of using ADSI. 
The most important pro is that ADSI is available on most Windows system by default. So you don't have to download anything or install anything or enable anything. The second pro is that it is not dependent on AD module or RSAT or any other special libraries. So it works out of the box. And uh, if you are a red teamer or if you are into pen testing, you would be happy to know that it is not easily detected as ADSI is used by most system administrators. Now another pro for using ADSI or ADSI searcher is that once you are comfortable in using these libraries, you can create custom tools out of them and use them in your own red teaming or pen testing engagements. The cons for ADSI is that it might take some time to learn and there is a lack of documentation when it comes to using ADSI on PowerShell. There are articles available which will give you certain fixes on how to do something specific with ADSI but there is limited documentation if you are looking to learn ADSI with PowerShell from scratch. But do not sweat about that. That is why I am here and in the coming videos, I will cover ADSI and ADSI searcher libraries in depth. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel Yaksha CSC. You can also follow us on our Twitter channel that is Yakshas443 and if you like the information that we have presented here, do share this video with your friends and colleagues. Stay tuned and I will be out with the next video soon.